Last year, an online activist group called Avaz launched a highly publicized campaign to pressure Craigslist into banning ivory sales. Uh, its latest target is now Yahoo, Yahoo Japan to be exact. Ivory trafficking uh, sounds like something you'd only find on the black market or, or in the corners of the dark web, but a huge amount of illegal tusks are actually being sold on large consumer websites um, who claim that you know, their buyers are unaware of the origin um, like I said, uh, Elliot, you know, uh, Craigslist, for example, um, kind of was running off the fact that uh, we're selling these items and it's legal because they're antiques. Uh, but that's really not the case because, you know, we see that, you know, elephants are being killed at an alarming rate. Uh, it's estimated that over 100 elephants or around 100 elephants are killed every single day. Um, so the amount of ivory that's being sold on these huge websites that everyone knows about uh, alludes to the fact that it's, these, these products aren't exactly as antiquated as, as they seem. Um, right. So, um, meanwhile, uh, Craigslist hasn't really come out with any sort of response yet, um, but the pressure is on, and I think that's a good thing. So, meanwhile, Avaz now is turning their attention to Yahoo Japan. Um, reports say that from 2012 to 2014, more than 12 tons of whole tusks and cut ivory pieces were sold through Yahoo Japan. Now, I can't tell you exactly how many elephants uh, that amounts to, but I can tell you that is a lot. I have a quote here uh, from the campaign director for Avaz. His name's Bert. Uh, wander. Here's what he says. Yahoo is a household name, an internet giant, and it's making essentially blood money off the back of elephants being killed. They could quite easily do the world a favor by helping conserve these magnificent animals. And I definitely agree because like I said, we think of ivory as something that goes, you know, unnoticed, uh, smuggled into countries, you know, in, in a lot of countries in Asia, for example, but to be sold on huge websites like Craigslist and Yahoo Japan, uh, Yahoo Japan has their own uh, classified ads similar to, similar to Craigslist. Right. Uh, we don't use Yahoo to sell stuff, but it's much more popular in Japan. And Yahoo are trying to distance themselves. Interestingly, they're trying to get ahead of this and just distancing themselves from the practice altogether. Exactly. Instead of saying, we'll, we will stop this, because they do have the pressure. They, they don't own uh, Japan uh, Yahoo completely, but they, they own like 35% of shares and stuff. So they, so they could definitely do something about it, but they're making a lot of money, Ellie. We can't forget that's the whole point. Right, right. And it is, it is troubling to see the extent to which it continues and perpetuates within Eastern medicinal and Eastern cultures, particularly for medicinal purposes. We've... We talked a lot about the, the, um, the slaughtering of whales, uh, you know, and, and also obviously elephants. You know, the poaching of elephants is a, is a highly problematic situation. It's about, reported to be a 60% drop in elephants in Tanzania uh, in the last few years. Apparently, a fifth of all African elephants I was just looking are going to be lost over the coming decade. Yeah, uh, it, it's really gotten to the point where certain countries in Africa are like exporting their elephants to these safe haven, havens in other countries uh, in fear that they will go extinct. And at this rate, they definitely will uh, before something like 2050 or something. So uh, we're killing them at a very fast rate. And it's extremely sad. Um, there has been a petition that's been launched to get the Yahoo CEO, Marissa Mayer, to actually do something about it. But up until now, there's been absolutely no indication that Yahoo, Yahoo will do anything uh, to curb um, the selling of ivory on Yahoo Japan. Japan's websites.